Hi, it's Mr. Norgren again. Our sixth lesson is titled Coloring, and you will learn another art element, as well as some more Photoshop tools and techniques. Here's our list of terms for today. The art element of color, and then Photoshop's brush tool, zoom tool, and hand tool, along with the navigator. All right, let's get started. Okay, for the beginning of this lesson, I will tell you a little bit about the art element of color. You do not need to open this color wheel image, just sit back and watch for a bit. In our last lesson, we learned about value, and now with color, it is good to be able to translate what value each color represents. This skill will make your color photographs look better, and if you convert them to black and white, they will also look better. When you look at each color, try to visualize what value they would be in black and white. Okay, on the color wheel, there are primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Secondary colors, orange, green, and purple. And then the colors in between the primary and the secondary is considered a tertiary or intermediate color, like this red-orange right here. The colors over here in this area are considered warm, and they have a tendency to advance or pop off of a 2D image. The colors in this area are cool, and they tend to recede or fade into the distance of a 2D image. Finally, there are three complementary color pairs, red and green, yellow and purple, and then orange and blue. When you put these two together, they create visual excitement. Okay, now let's move on to the lesson. Choose File Open from the menu bar, or you could use the keyboard shortcut Command-O. Navigate to the Macintosh HD, let's go there, and then locate the Video Lesson Images folder, and find the HANA image, and then click Open. In the next step, choose Image Duplicate from the menu bar, and then click OK. Go ahead and close this original, and then save this copy, Command-S, and this time find your Documents folder, and your video lessons folder, and you'll name this one last name VL6, and then click Save. Okay, next what you're going to do is duplicate the background layer. You can drag this to the new layer icon, or you could press Command J. And now in the menu bar up here, choose Image, Adjustments, and then Black and White. You could play around with the sliders a little bit to get a good uh, tonal range in your image. And that looks good enough for now. And click OK. Now on the menu bar, choose Window Brush. And then also Window Swatches. My swatches are already open. They already have a check mark next to it. They're right up here. So we can just get off that menu up there now. And now most likely you will not be able to click on anything in the brushes palette because we don't have the brush selected. So in the tool palette over here, you can uh, get the brush, which is right there. You can also press the letter B on your keyboard to get you the brush. And if you click and hold on this brush, you could see that there are other brushes. Just make sure it's the one at the top. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and click on brush tip shape right here, if it's not already there, so you can see this list of brushes. And you're going to scroll all the way to the top where you see this uh, hard round 30 brush. So click on that one. And then go ahead and move your cursor over the image and notice the brush is fairly small. You can change the size in the brush palette here, right there. And then check your size. Or you can make your life much easier by using the right and left bracket keys to make your brush bigger and smaller. So go ahead and collapse this window now by clicking on this icon here. And then uh, before you start painting, go ahead and adjust the flow to 100%. That's at the top of the screen up here. Make sure that's at 100%. And then there is also an airbrush option you can try if you want to try that. Okay, now go ahead and select a color from the swatches palette. And I'll just pick this red here. And then paint on your canvas. 
and you'll notice that your image just kind of disappeared. You're painting over it. So let's change something here. Press Command Z. And now up in the tool options up here where it says mode normal, you're going to change normal down to color. And now try painting again and you could see that you could still see the values in the image and that's what we want for this image. Okay, now what you'll also notice is that if you try to paint over something that's solid white, like let me make this brush smaller, like right in here it's pretty white, you won't really see anything happening because there's no gray pixels in there. Same thing is true for the solid black areas down here. You can see it a little bit, but uh, when it's really dark black, you won't be able to see that. Okay, now let's zoom in and work on some precise painting. This will take a little time, but it is a great exercise to start training your eye to pay attention to the details. So click on the zoom tool, letter Z on the keyboard. It's right down here at the bottom of the tool palette. And then click and drag on your image. You'll notice it zooms in. Okay, another quick tip is to hold down the space bar temporarily and it turns into the hand tool and you could move around a little bit as you're painting. You can also hold down the H key and then click and drag and then let go somewhere else in your image. So hold down the H, click, and then go somewhere else and it goes up there. So either of those will work as you navigate around your image. So go in and go back to the brush tool, the letter B. And then uh, we could stick with this red color that I've been using here. And then start to paint your image. Now, when you want to get your uh, image back to uh, full size, if you want to see what you've been working on, you could press Command-0, and that brings you back. You could also do Command-plus to zoom in and Command-minus. The last way to navigate around your image is with the navigator. So if you go to Window, Navigator, you could pull up the navigator and this way you could zoom in and zoom out. And then you could also move the image around. Okay, the last skill that you need to finish this painting is how to fix your mistakes. You probably remember Command Z to undo something or Command Option Z to undo more than one thing. Uh, to keep re uh, repeating the undo. But you might have an area where you made like a little mistake up here or over here and then you finished painting all this stuff and if you did Command Z you might end up undoing something that you didn't want to undo. So the logical thing to do would be to reach for the eraser tool and then erase your image and weird stuff starts to happen. So let me show you what's happening here. I've got two layers. If I hide this background layer, you can see that I basically erased through the top layer there. And now there's nothing on that layer. So if I turn this back on, it's basically showing a window to the layer that's below. So let me undo that. Command Option Z. Actually, we'll try to fix this a second way. What you do is you get the brush tool that you normally were painting with. And then you pick the color white. And if you paint with white, it fixes your mistakes. Okay, now put on some music and enjoy the artistic experience of coloring your image. Don't forget to save often. And actually, if I save right now, you might notice something here. I already saved it once, and it's showing up here as a JPEG. Now it's showing up as a PSD, just because I added another layer. It's not a flattened JPEG anymore. So go ahead and just click Save, and you'll have two versions. The one that's a JPEG, and then your completed one that's the PSD file. So continue painting, and I will see you in the next video. All right, it looks beautiful. I'm assuming you did a good job. You've learned about the art element of color, and then Photoshop's brush tool, zoom tool, hand tool, and the navigator. As always, I encourage you to be present, professional, and polite in all your future business encounters. And stay tuned for another slideshow. This one's about color. See if you could spot any complimentary color pairs. Thanks, and have a great day. Thank you.